Terminator on Third Rock from the Sun. Our next guest has always had a fondness for aliens. Take a look. <laughs> oh my God! Wake up! Huh? Dick, did we? Did we what? You know. Uh, I'm not sure. I think we did. You do? I'm not sure. I bet we did. Oh, Helen! Oh, you know what this means? No. We're back together. Oh. It's you and me, kid. No. We're an item. Help! Help! Somebody let me out of here! Oh, oh, my back. Oh, oh, Please welcome back. the wonderfully funny and lovely Jane Ken! <laughs> No, no. And I just love you. I loved watching you on Saturday Night Live all those years. Yes, I mean. And uh, your number is with Gilda Radner, who is oh. one of my most favorite. But I adore you on the TV Food Network. Oh, God. I love it. <laughs> well, I don't know what that Absolutely. is. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. yeah, she does a wonderful number out there. I introduced old cooking shows. Really? Yeah. And these are cooking shows from the late 40s. Yes. They had cooking shows on television starting in 1946, I think. Really? And at that time, people ate differently. So I would sit there, and I'd do like 20 or 30 intros and outros of these cooking shows a day. And I'd be describing things like larded liver. <laughs> oh. I mean, if we ate those things, they would kill us. Yeah. But I love your attitude. You have a sort of Diana Rigg attitude <laughs> when you do this. There's a sort of Maggie Smith oh, yeah? thing going. I think is it it's still on? Yes. Is it on still on? Yes, on weekends they show your uh, marvelous, I think they're marvelous segments, because now you've got Emerald. Let's kick it up a notch. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. And now we have you out there every oh, weekend God. doing See, a See nice the things you find out thing. when you ask people to co-host? I had no idea you were on the Food Network. Yes. Oh, I, but I, she was I, out there amazing. from the beginning. Face. My life When nobody on a whim. had it on cable, you were out there. Before anybody had it on their sets. Wow. There you go. And that right. was only last week. And I just followed the Million Dollar Pillsbury hey, don't Bake me. Off. How about <laughs> that? Wow. Oh, impressive, isn't Very it? Very impressive. Couscous salsa chicken, a million bucks. A million Who knew? bucks. Oh, no. Jeez. I always thought they had to do stuff with squeeze cheese, though. <laughs> oh, really? Squeeze cheese. I think that's the special squeeze cheese Olympics you're thinking ah, of. Oh, you know, okay. it's hard to get the mix. Are yeah. you a good cook, Jane? Yeah, I am. You a good are, cook. yeah. Yeah, I like to cook. I only cook like four things. What? London broil, chicken piccata, tacos, and pasta. I like that. Well, my daughter doesn't eat anything I cook, though. Really? At yeah. all? No. Fast food? She's do your test. Tash, you into fast food? What are you into? No? Bagels. Bagels? bagels? Only bagels. Yeah. Bagel. Sesame? Cinnamon raisin? What do you like? Poppy. Poppy. A poppy bagel. That's the <laughs> staple of every American teenager now. It's kind of frightening. Congratulations to you on the SAG. Best, uh... Oh, right. Yeah. 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 Nominated. That was so yeah. wonderful. Ensemble. It's a great ensemble. Oh, and it's what a, a wonderful ensemble. show it is. Yeah. You should be so proud of I it. I am. I am. It's a great show. It's a great show. And you and John work so well together. Oh, I'd love John Lithgow. I, it's, it's just, he's a big pet. He is. Yeah, he's, so he's adorable. <laughs> he's, he's got the best disposition of any human being in the world, and he's so silly. He is. Funniest time you ever had on the set? Funniest episode, you think? Um, we have a pretty good one coming up tonight, but we laugh all the time, and there are times when... When you get involved in a scene and, you know, it, it's a very funny scene. You know it's a very funny scene and, and you know you're professional and you can get through it. But there was one thing that we had to do where we were eating Chinese food. <laughs> and uh, it was beef and broccoli. And we were trying to discuss how close our relationship was. And in the middle of this conversation, Dr. Albright, um, and it was special effects, it wasn't Dr. Albright, actually uh, passed gas. <laughs> And in the script. In the script, yeah, Dr. Sure. Albright, okay. uh, with special effects. I understand. Yeah. Got you. Because I'm not that good. Uh, <laughs> and the funny thing was that Bonnie Turner was telling me that they had to get this approved by standards and practices. And so they had this very long discussion about how many episodes they could actually have of Dr. Albright passing gas. And Bonnie said, well, I think we should go with three. And Standard said, no, 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 one is plenty. Yeah. And they were going back and forth and back and forth. And, and Bonnie fin 
final argument was, but this is Jane Curtin passing gas. You know it's tasteful. <laughs> <laughs> I love when my name true. is bandied about like that. It is that. the truth. Yeah. Although that you is so I always remember Dan Aykroyd. Jane, you ignorant slut. Oh, yeah. That is oh, like, yeah. must have followed you around everywhere. You know, I just went outside and a man said it to me. He did, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah, a security guard. It doesn't go away. No, and you can't, you can't yell at the security Before guard. Before the show, uh, we were uh, out here getting dressed, and um, one of the gals on your show came back and told me that you have a snake, or you have snakes. Or I don't. My daughter you has snakes. Your daughter has snakes. Yeah, a she, snake? she has one snake, a small, little How small. little? What is it? What kind of snake? Um, it's a corn snake. Corn snake, a little corn oh, snake. Like in a tank in what a is, room? It's in a tank in a room. A pet? You mean this is a pet Adorable. that you have? She has no, it's a working snake, Steve. <laughs> Well, we mean... use it to herd all the other animals. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh, if you will, I hope. Laugh, <laughs> if you will. No, but this but is snake number two. I actually... What happened to snake what number happened one? What happened to one? Well, Frances escaped. We think she's in the heating system. Oh, Jane, I don't like to hear that. I actually have a friend in Las Vegas who used to be a showgirl, and she keeps a, sh a shake. She keeps a snake, a shaky she, snake. She kept a right. shake. Kept she a wouldn't shake. have to be you a shake. You got it. <laughs> You're so right. Anyway, uh, she teaches belly dancing now, uh -huh. and she has the snake, yeah. swear, in her uh, studio. Uh -huh. And however the snake moves, she teaches these women to move like the snake. And uh, this... She, that snake, that, by the way, that snake eats beef and broccoli. <laughs> oh, right. No, that <laughs> snake eats mice. <laughs> yeah. Not house mice. They have to go well, and buy mice. mice. Yeah. They do. Yeah, we have to buy. We have to buy. buy it mice. They yeah. have to buy mice. Yeah, we. Oh, you right. have to go out and you have Control to buy little yourself. pink mice. <laughs> little what? Little baby mice. A little baby mice. Little baby. I actually <laughs> said the sentence. I'm going to Hollywood to buy a pinky mouse. Oh. A pinky mouse. I never thought that those those words would ever be connected no. in my life. No. What do you do? Dangle it like bait? No, you you get it in a, a paper bag and yeah. then they they close the top of the paper bag and and you bring it home and and we were told this is the best way to do it so you don't have to watch is that you put the snake in the bag and then you leave. And how does it get out of the bag? It's life. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> no, Jane, my son, my son wants a snake. He wants a hamster and a snake, and he has a rubber snake, and he runs around, he puts it on his neck. It's from that movie, Jungle Book. Snakes, you know, these snakes, these little corn snakes are really kind of cute. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. you know, a lot of people... I don't want one. A lot of people down south, and we were just in Florida, you know, now they're eating alligator, they're eating ostrich, yeah. they're eating a snake, and I keep saying to them, what does it taste like? They say, chicken. <laughs> Everything tastes like chicken. Well, it's all better than I, larded liver. Well, this yeah, is true. Yeah, that's the this truth. This is yeah. true. Now, how about the Olympics? Did you watch the Olympics, Jay? I, I find it hard to watch the Olympics. It's too sad. Is it sad to it you? It just is very sad when you see these people who have worked for so long, and then they hit an icy patch, and they can't make it. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, it, it hurts my feelings. I understand. But you know what, Jane? It's life. Get ah! over it. <laughs> It's always. good seeing Continued you. Continued success on the show. It's a wonderful program. You can watch it on NBC Wednesday nights. I'm a tremendous fan. Oh, I'm so happy to finally meet you. Jane Curtin, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with Stephen Eadie singing for you. Don't go away.